what's going on? Riley here taking over with Future Fit again. We're actually outside today. It's a lovely day, so this is a little quick video that we're going to do about social media. So I thought I'd come outside and film it. The plan with this video, guys, is to talk about how to grow your social medias. Now, first of all, I have not got big social media. Um, I'm working hard to grow it, especially Instagram. That's what I'm going to talk about mainly. But we've been taking steps. So uh, it's all about little steps to try and get the end product so that's what I'm going to talk to you about today right so my first sort of tip or trick would be turn your Instagram into a business profile right I'm going to do a little screen grab and you can see what I mean by that that means you can see your sort of insights your impressions how many people are liking your posts how many people have followed you that week when's the best time to post it tells you everything you need to go and this we're talking about Instagram here and that is sort of the main thing that I would say to do to help gauge an idea of your audience um, and when to post so for me say posted at nine o'clock at night on a Monday is the best time I'll make sure I post at nine o'clock at night on a Monday so having that insight and having those impressions is really helpful and you've got to use that to the best of your ability another thing we'll talk about is being consistent with posts now I used to get really worried about over posting on my fitness account back when I started it probably about two two years ago now now I make sure I post five to seven times a week either I'm solid through the week Monday to Friday and then even on the weekend if I've got something to post I'll post it just because the more times you're featuring on that new feed the more times your name is popping up the more interaction you should get with your followers so when you become consistent with posting you want to make sure that you interact with your followers so if you're getting comments make sure you're applying you're liking people's comments make sure that if you've got people that are constantly popping up on your uh, nude feed you reply to them they reply to them. build a rapport with your clients because uh, with your followers because if you just don't reply or anything or don't like the comment then they're never going to comment again whereas if you build a relationship that will be more interaction that will be more people seeing it on the timeline and sort of stuff like that so that's a really good one interact with your followers okay using hashtags now if you actually have your insights you can click on your insights on your post and tell me how many uh, like reaches you've had through your hashtag so I still post hashtags religiously I don't like to post them on the actual comment because I think it doesn't look tidy it doesn't look clean so I put them as a comment rather than on the post but yeah still posting hashtags that are relevant to your post try and be consistent with your posts in terms of images and um, relatability because you want them to be similar throughout so if you're a fitness account try and post predominantly fitness with things linked in around don't be random and sporadic because people can't really relate to that so if they want to see a fitness profile they're going to click on it they want to have lots and lots of fitness uh, posts rather than one about your life then one about fitness then one about the garden I don't know why I said the garden it's probably because I'm sat in it but yeah you know what I mean be consistent with your posts post slimmer, similar things so people can relate we're talking a lot about Instagram here because that is something that's the one platform that I'm trying to throw, grow the most Instagram and YouTube do I need to step up my Facebook and Twitter game? Absolutely. And can you put your attention in all of these directions? Yes, but for me, I'd rather pick one and just try and smash it and uh, constantly, constantly try and go on that. What do I think the best one to be? Maybe Facebook, because the reach on Facebook is a lot greater than Instagram. However, just, just, pick, just pick something that works for you, that you're gonna get the most clients from, that you enjoy posting on and just try and channel that and absolutely work at that 100%. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is um, actually sponsoring ads and paying to promote them. It's something that I've started doing recently. I try and sponsor at least one ad a month, uh, only about 10 to 15 pound, but what that does is that just gets hundreds and hundreds of new faces onto your profile, which could lead to more likes, more followers, more subscribers, more views. So I try and pick one good post a month to, spot, uh, to sponsor that and then you can get them to get onto your YouTube channel, they can go on your Facebook page. The, the thing about ads are so great now is you can get them exactly, the directions for your ads is you can choose who you want to see your ads, where do you want them to take. So that's probably why I like Instagram and, and, and using ads because I can try and gauge my followers the best. So yeah guys, that was a quick Instagram growth tips. Well, Instagram, but more social media. If you have any questions, or anything like that please let me know down below i'd love to reply and try and help you out as much as possible once again i'm not a massive 
Instagram, YouTube, but I'm just trying to help you guys out and me and Future Fit have teamed up once again. I know that the day in the life of the PT video did pretty well. So once again, I'll slap my um, social medias down below. I'd really appreciate it if you go and follow me on there or hit that subscribe button on YouTube and then hopefully we'll make a few more with Future Fit soon.